Hello, I'm Ralph Weiser, I'm with Airs in USA and I'm the technical manager here. And uh, I have a um, presentation for you today about vibration analysis and vibration analysis basics. Because as you can uh, definitely tell from, from the uh, onset on, it's a very basic concept, but in many, many cases, people are just absolutely overwhelmed by the variety of machines out there that you can do it with, but mostly just the mere concept of what do all these squiggly lines meet, mean. In condition monitoring, it's quintessential to have vibration analysis in it. And uh, not many companies, end users, original equipment manufacturers, anyone spends an awful lot of money on training anymore. So there's a training deficit uh, further compounding the issue of not many people knowing how to interpret uh, such um, spectra or any of the other things that go along with uh, condition monitoring. How do you interpret the uh, results? That's one key issue that, that uh, besets this industry. And uh, the industries are versatile. They can be in cement companies, in, in plastics plant, wastewater, any of them. How do you really read these spectra? Here's an example of what that could look like. There are a lot of peaks, a lot of values. What do they really mean? And that is the only concept that I'm trying to convey today. Where these um, lines originate, what do they mean and how are they useful? Now, I've got one theoretical example for you and that is uh, imbalance on a single shaft machine, a single shaft machine such a, as a motor. There's an imbalance on it and uh, we're gonna review what a time waveform is and what an FFT or fast Fourier transfer spectrum is all about. Let's picture a pulley, a coupling. If you want, you can even picture a tire, and a, because you, you probably are accustomed to seeing balancing weights on tires. Now, a, on, the, uh, on the upper right-hand corner, there's our imbalance that we are trying to track, and it's tracked by the probe on top of our vibration analyzer. And as the tire rotates, well, the vibration sensor picks up this one rota rotation. But how do you go from a mere rotational force into a diagram that you can really evaluate and then ascertain what it is and what it means and how severe the vibration is. And this is what, what, what it's all about. You, you can see and discern the curves and the, these curves, these up and down curves are really nothing more than my tire, my, my coupling spinning and I'm trying to capture the track on an, on an XY plot where my imbalance is and my probe tracks that for me and my machine tracks that for me by the y-axis going on the horizontal line to track the time at which it does this. And the other, the y, the, the vertical line, tracks the severity of my issue. And that is really in essence what that means. All the stars are really the points of my, my, where my imbalance is at the time of rotating as it goes along the time. The, the fast Fourier transfer spectrum makes it, tries to attempt making this a lot more manageable because you're going from a very complex system uh, to trying to make it simpler to have only one line instead of like a, a long wavy line that really means nothing unless you're really a trained technician, so, uh, service technician or vibration an analysis technician. So here what we're doing is we're tracking the speed at which the vibration happens and that is my once again my x-axis the horizontal line and you see the one the one vertical line here going up that is pretty much the frequency at which it happens the time frame at which it happens and the peak where it ends up on the scale on the vertical line here at 0.25 that is really my severity and which is directly related to the highest and lowest points of my previous my previous slide, this one. So where my x axis intersects, that is really my time. The y is more the severity. That is really the, the core basics of it all. Here I have an, a practical example. I'm, I tried to use this on a motor that I captured with all vibration analysis equipment. You can clearly see and identify the time waveform at the bottom, nice squiggly line and up on top my FFT that then shrinks it down to manageable data of saying 
this is the, the time frame. In 100 milliseconds, this one uh, traveled almost 5.9 times per 100 milliseconds, which when you calculate it up, it's like 35, uh, 30, uh, 3,545 RPM that, that you can see up here in my spectrum up on top on the FFT. And the severity of it all, which right, is right here, that is something that we're tracking up on top right there, where we are tracking the severity here in, in velocity, how fast my, my vibra vibration is, how fast my velocity is of the, the vibration um, source here, completely in balance. It's very much an imbalance. And well, remember garbage in, garbage out. That is, that is one thing. Every and every a uh, distinct source, every distinct source is something that you can track either with a time waveform or with your FFT. And that is really the good thing that you should rest comfort in comfort because if you know how the machine is constructed, you can really tell if there is an issue, how severe the issue is, what the, what the root cause might be. But you don't need to be afraid that this is some black magic. You can almost unlock the, the root cause yourself if you reviewed the fundamental frequencies. And that is really the core of what I wanted to cover. If you have any questions, please keep in touch because if you have any questions or comments, drop me at mail at rwiser at airsnusa.com and I would love to hear from you.